Now I've got something very unusual to show you in today's video. Have you ever heard of Muso Black? I suspect you have because there's been a lot of YouTube videos made exploring the very unusual properties of well, a very, very black paint called Muso Black. It's so black, everything that is painted with it just looks like a silhouette, even outside in broad daylight, you see no detail whatsoever. This paint absorbs 99.4% of light. Now there are other black paints out there. I bought some black 3.0 a while ago to paint the inside of my light box in an attempt to create some really cool visual effects, but it just didn't work very well. That paint is black, but it's definitely not as black as Musso paint and Musso paint is not cheap either. In the UK, if you want to buy a litre of Musso black paint, you're looking at almost £250. I mean, you can go down to your local DIY shop and buy a couple of litres of white emulsion for 20 quid. So yeah, if you wanted to paint the average room in the UK with Musso black, it's gonna cost you oh, between 500 and 1,000 pounds. Now, one of the last places I expected to see Musso paint used was on a watch dial, but that's exactly what Venezian Eco did a little while ago. These watches have actually been around for a little while and they have featured on some pretty high profile YouTube channels and websites. Now this ultra black series of watches that Venezian Eco launched a while back has proven to be their most popular series of watches. I think primarily because it's just so unusual. And whenever they've done a production run, those watches have sold out within a couple of hours. So now they have decided on the 5th of April to launch a 72 hour period whereby if you want one of these watches, you can pre-order it and you will get one. There is no cap to their production run on this occasion. Now, I'll be honest, when they invited me to review this watch, I was a little bit, I wouldn't say concerned, but my OCD was sort of triggered a little bit because one of my pet hates when it comes to watches with black dials is dust, debris, and DNA on the dial. And with these black dials being, well, just so black, they're gonna show up every single imperfection. So I immediately went back to them and asked, how are you going to overcome the challenge of ensuring these dials are perfect? And they agreed. It absolutely was a challenge, but they went to some pretty extreme lengths during the manufacturing process to ensure that these watches and these dials in particular turn up to you in tip-top condition. Firstly, the paint application has to be spot on. You can imagine the conditions where they're painting these dials is like a surgical environment. It is sealed. I'm sure there's all sorts of filters being used. And that was the first challenge, I believe, getting the paint on the dials, having the application smooth, and there not being any imperfections within the paint. The next challenge was getting the dials through a quality control process which didn't then result in more stuff being attracted to the dials, you know, more dust, debris, and DNA landing on the dials. And once they eliminated all the poorly painted dials and all the dials with bits and pieces on them, you were left with dials that could then be assembled into the watches and the assembly process. <laughs> <laughs> was also a challenge by all accounts because at any stage you know you can get dust I mean specs anything just landing on the dials and then of course once the watches were assembled they would go through another quality control check and any watches or any dials that had any stuff on them they were disregarded immediately so I think the failure rate for these watches and these dials is pretty high and I was told these dials are very very easy to spoil the second you just touch them with anything that's it dial ruined so if you're a tinkerer and you're thinking of I don't know disassembling this watch for fun and then putting it back together I would strongly advise <laughs> against it I think these dials should just be left in the watches as they are and enjoyed through the crystal. So of course the dials are the main talking point when it comes to these watches, but there is much more to these watches than just these really quite unusual dials. I've now featured a few Venezian Eco watches on my channels and they are beautifully made. In fact, one competed in a steel comparison video recently 
did very, very well. Um, yeah, their build quality is really, really good. And these cases seem to be polished beautifully. There is some brushing on the sides of the cases as well, which is really, really nice. A nice satin brushing, but the top surfaces are polished and yeah, they look really, really smooth, really flat, no streaking, really nice. Now the crystals took me by surprise a little bit. I wasn't expecting them to be quite so prominent and for the AR coating to be quite so prominent. And I was a little bit unsure about the AR coating to begin with. So much so I showed these watches to my wife and I said, what do you think of that blue glare that you get with the crystal and it was actually her that said well I think it needs it actually she pointed out that without that blue hue to the crystal the watches would look almost too flat now I don't know how much the AR coating is doing because well you've got bright polished hands over a musso black dial <laughs> I don't think these are ever going to be difficult to read but they did in the end opt for sapphire crystal with a blue AR coating let me know in the comments section what you think of the AR coating now they've opted to put the automatic NH35 inside of these watches and I think that has helped to keep the price down um, these are amongst their more affordable watches and I think that might also be one of the reasons why these have proven to be just so popular. They're not the cheapest watches in the world housing the NH35, but they are from a very, very good quality micro brand. And of course, these dials are absolutely um, gonna push the prices up. Like I've mentioned already, the failure rates are gonna be very, very high. The production of these watches has obviously proven to be very challenging. And so that is gonna be reflected in the prices. But at 410 euros, I think they represent good value for money because you really are getting something quite unusual. You've also got a couple of different case sizes sizes to choose from 36 and 40 millimeters and here they are side by side I'd happily wear either one of these actually I don't think the 36 millimeter version is too small for me and I don't think the 40 millimeter version is too big for me I have a roughly average sized wrist so yeah for most of us I think we can just go with what we would prefer in terms of size. Of course, if you've got a very small wrist, you're gonna opt for the smaller one. And if you've got a very large wrist, you're gonna opt for the larger one. And there is a third option, of course. It's a different style of watch, but it's got a 42 millimeter case. 100 meters of water resistance. The crown has a pull push crown. It is signed, or you've got the logo on there. And then you've got a case back with lots of detail on it and a reference to the inspiration behind these dials, which is the darkness of space. The watches that I've been sent will be accompanied by a very nice Italian leather strap. The buckle is beautifully finished. You've got the Venezian Eco logo on it. It's polished like most of the surfaces on the case, the top surfaces anyway, so it suits the case it matches it nicely and a bit like the dial it is just a very black leather strap although there is obviously some reflection to it so next to the dial it almost looks gray but it is a black leather strap now i've spoken about the dial and how it's been painted with musso black um, but i haven't really mentioned anything else to do with the dial and well there's not really a lot to mention is there the hands beautifully finished beautifully cut very very reflective and then you've just got a polished venezian eco logo at the 12 o'clock it's about as minimalist as you're gonna see i think so if you've had your sights set on one of these watches well you're in luck you'll be able to order one on the 5th and deliveries will start on the 26th of april and they have promised to fulfill every single order. I don't think they'll be sending every single order out on the 26th. I suspect they'll be done in stages. Um, so the quicker you order, I guess the more likely you are to get yours delivered sooner rather than later. And when it arrives, I think you'll be very, very impressed actually. These are without a doubt a talking point very very clever to use this musso black paint on the dial given the exposure that this paint has had on youtube and on social media yeah i really wasn't expecting to see it on a dial i'm just wondering what else we can put it on and as you can see i bought some i couldn't resist the temptation i was just so curious to see how it looks on stuff it wasn't cheap over 30 pounds for this tiny little bottle anyway um yeah guys let me know what you think of these watches and the review in the comments 
comments section of course i'll put links in the video description to where you can pre-order these watches on the 5th for 72 hours don't forget that's all you're gonna get and because they're doing this unlimited production run i don't know if and when they'll be offering these watches again so yeah if you really do want one i think then is the time to strike right guys as always a massive thank you from me to you for tuning in i do really appreciate it please take care guys look after yourselves you'll see me again very very soon